Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, they give us an acceleration versus time graph, and then they say, what is the velocity graph? And we have to watch out on this one because they tell us that it starts out at a two meters per second right off the bat. So I've drawn our velocity versus time graph for us already. And so they tell us that they start off, as we talked about in the problem already, at two meters per second. So we start right here at time of zero. And then for a acceleration versus time graph to go down to a velocity versus time graph, we find the area underneath the curve. So for time zero to two seconds, the area is two by negative two. So we changed a negative four meters. So from two down to negative two at two seconds. So now from time two to four, we have the exact same thing. We went down another four meters. So down to six and four seconds. And now from four to six, we have a one by two. So we go up a positive two seconds, six. And then from six to eight, we go to a positive two seconds multiplied by positive two meters per second. So we have four meters here. So from negative four, we jump up to zero at eight. And then same thing, we have another positive four. So from eight to 10, we go up to positive four right there. So now we can connect all the lines. So we go like this. Sorry, they're not super straight, but you get the idea. So now we have the velocity versus time graph from the acceleration versus time graph. You can double check it by going from the velocity versus time graph back up to the acceleration versus time graph. And we do that by finding the slope of the line. So you could plug in the points and find the change in the rise over the change in the run to double check that that does match the acceleration that they show on the graph here.